Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the Boots on the Ground campaign headquarters room, and I have uh, Rod Honeycutt here, and we are answering questions that have came in, not only from the debates, but from the website as well, and he's taken this chance to to answer these for you good folks out there in Western North Carolina. Good evening, Rod. How are you doing? Hey, John. Doing great. Hey, John, I want to use this format uh, to reach out to the voters of Western North Carolina. We've had a couple of debates, and, you know, each of the voters don't get the opportunity to listen to the debates. Uh, so we'll use this mechanism to tell them what's on our mind and how we've been answering the questions. And today, the one I want to focus on is securing our southern border. Uh, we've answered that question four times now, I believe, in each of the debates. Uh, closing our southern border, securing our southern border, you know, you can use the term uh, that you think is most important. Uh, but to me, it is a part of our national defense and national security. And we've got some great Border Patrol agents down there uh, who are right now overwhelmed uh, because of the way they are resourced. And those 20,000 uh, employees uh, need to have uh, better resources. I think they need to be manned at a higher level. And that's one element of uh, that southern border. Also, I think we've got to augment uh, those great Border Patrol agents with technology, uh, use drones, also augment uh, their workforce with um, contracted solutions. Uh, there's all kind of contractors working across the United States right now. And then also uh, look at executing joint patrols uh, on both sides of the border uh, to stop that flow or stem the flow of traffic coming across that border. But also uh, look at uh, the reason why we're getting so many immigrants across the border, uh, that we look at reinvesting or investing in both South uh, and Central America, and stopping uh, the flow before it gets started. And then, you know, the um, current immigration uh, system that we're working under is about a 1950s uh, solution set. We've got to get it uh, optimized and more towards a 2022, uh, 20th century solution, uh, where we have a system that is uh, productive and a system that works on a faster technology-based solution set. Uh, that is critical, and uh, we've got to get after it, John. That's excellent, Rod. Now, let me ask you a question um, based for, you know, for the good folks who, uh, you know, WNC. Um, what, what is the actual threat? Because obviously it's, it's a controversial subject, that, you know, talking about the borders, uh, it causes a lot of arguments, but what is the threat to the good folks of Western North Carolina? You know, right now there's a um, couple lines of effort, a couple of threat streams uh, that come across the border. You know, and it's whether it's a drug or a human trafficking uh, scenario, you know, drugs manufactured across the border or drugs manufactured in China, uh, making it way uh, onto the streets of every county inside of our district. You know, recently uh, here in Buncombe County, uh, over the last 24 hours, we've had a spike in both opioid and fentanyl-laced uh, overdoses, and we've got to get after it. So stemming that flow of drugs into our country starts at the border, but we've also got to transition into our local uh, law enforcement officers and make sure that they're resourced with what they need. Uh, you know, it's a um, unfortunate situation uh, that we've put our uh, youth into and our communities into we got to be proactive uh, we can't be reactive and watch and we got to get after it we got to protect this beautiful district in which we live Josh, it's, it's great to actually hear you say that rod you know we need to be proactive rather than reactive i mean it couldn't have been said any better you know in reality so you know ladies and gentlemen if you have any concerns or you have any questions for rod then this is the forum to do it on you know go on our website cutforcongress.com, send in your questions, and he will personally answer those questions. And, of course, come and see us. You know, we do lives as well. But this will be a new forum uh, for you guys to reach out to him. Rod, I want to thank you for being with us this evening. And final words to the good folks at WNC. Hey, yes, sir. And, you know, you can call 828-275-6848. We'll always answer the phone, and we'll have a great discussion with you. And um, look forward to the discussions, right? Hey, John, God bless you. God bless yours. God bless United States of America. And can't wait to do the next one. Hey, remember, vote Rod Honeycutt on May 17th. Absolutely, guys. Vote Rod Honeycutt, May 17th, cutforcongress.com. Rod, thank you once again, and I'm looking forward to the next one. God All bless. Right, Have a great evening.